Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, is my Amazon favorites video. And I think it's been a year since I did it. And last time I did it, I split it up to lifestyle, home, pet, all these many of things. I, electronics, I split up the videos. Today, I'm going to encompass all my Amazon favorites. So everything on this list today, it's gonna be all over the place. I don't have any pet things, but it's gonna be lifestyle, it's gonna be home. It's gonna be a lot of different things that I think are very interesting finds. And what's making me wanna make this video is Prime Day is coming up. Now, I doubt a lot of what I'll talk about will be on the Prime Day list, quite honestly, just because I know Prime Day is mostly for Amazon to get their Alexa. Sorry, I said it. Now my. Never mind. Uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, so it's really Amazon's way to sell their dots, their TVs, their remote controls. Most things on Prime Day are Amazon related. Sometimes they're not. But today's video, I wanted to encompass things that I have been loving recently. I really tailored this list because I think there's some very great finds on here. And I wanted to share said finds with you. I've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys too on some of these finds in past videos that I wanted to make a whole video. One big lump some of video so that you guys can be in on the know on what I've been loving on Amazon. So first thing I'm going to start out with is, I don't know if you see me wear these in videos, they make too much noise like the camera will pick these up. So I try not to wear these while I'm filming a video because it gets very distracting. But in real life, I wear these bracelets literally all the time. I just bought a new one, but they are my Alex and Ani bracelets. So Alex and Ani, it's a company that you can buy from directly, but I prefer to get my Alex and Ani bracelets from Amazon simply because they're so much cheaper. But Alex and Ani is a company where you can like buy things that are unique. So this is my one of my first bracelets. It's little NC State bracelet. So it's my NC State. So you can get whatever college you got one of my friends has she went to Chapel Hill so she has a UNC Chapel Hill one you can get your schools you can get if you're a Harry Potter fan you know the sorting hat this is my more recent find I got a little cross I like this one as well so Alex and Ani they're charm bracelets but typically you know most charm bracelets people wear like one and there's multiple charms these are like you know individual ones so I would put these on like this and typically I have these on my wrist I and mean, it's just like my cool little jingly 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 so my first amazon purchase or favorite purchase has to be the alex and ani bracelets again i've been on cruises the last time i was on a cruise was 2019 uh pre-pandemic and one of the docks had a i think the ship had alex and ani and then we stopped at grand cayman and uh, Grand Cayman had a store and they had Alex and Ani. They had some bracelets that I hadn't seen on Amazon. So I think Alex and Ani's site and where you find them elsewhere, sometimes they have little charms that you wouldn't see necessarily on Amazon. Like I think Carnival had like a little cruise ship. So if you're an avid cruiser, they have like nautical inspired ones that I haven't personally seen on Alex and Ani, but they have ones that say mom. They have ones that say granddaughter, daughter. They have an engagement ring one. If you watch my vlog where I bought my best friend Sasha um, a gift for her engagement that she didn't know was going to be engagement but her birthday party it was just an engagement ring that said just engaged on it so it was an Alex and Ani bracelet with a little engagement ring I'll insert a picture right now if I can of the bracelet I got her but I love that from Amazon one of my favorite favorites for myself and gifts for others. Now my next Amazon favorite, I just bought a second pair of these, are the Champion Sweatpants. Now, you know, it's been a year of working from home. I've gotten accustomed to it. As we start having those re-emerging back into office conversations, you know, I, I'm not happy about that, but I still like to be comfortable at home. It's rare that I'm at home working, even if I have a lot of meetings. It's rare that I'm also wearing like actual real pants. I'm wearing a real top and most of the time, even when I'm filming, I'm, I'm wearing like sweatpants. Um, so I love a good sweatpants and I thought these were super comfortable. Uh, the inside lining is so comfortable and breathable. Most of the time where I get my lounge pants from, I get them on sale from like pink from when Victoria's Secret's having semi-annual time or their holiday season time. I typically always buy like two sweatpants during those seasons. And my most recent ones, they got that fuzz on them that sweaters sometimes get when you put them in the washer so I was very disappointed with the quality of my Victoria's Secret sweats but I got these champion ones now they were actually 
$16.56. Now, what I do, me being small, you know, if you watch my most recent haul, your girl ain't pack it in the backs area, which I'm disappointed when it comes to, you know, Lord, why you give me the booze if you didn't give me the butt? But he knows I would have been uncontrollable if he gave me both. So he humbled me by giving me a small downstairs area, but it comes in handy when I get pants because the reason why these were so cheap, I think the adult sizes were like 30 bucks, but I get the extra large boys or the large boys and the extra large boys. I can do either. Um, and then they cost like 15, $16 when you do it that way. I be knowing that's what I did in college that's how I got good prices in the bookstore because if you know if you've been to college before you don't buy your apparel from the, the school bookstore because it's 40 something dollars people typically go to Walmart or Target Kmart was the store near my school we get your, your apparel from there because the bookstore was shrimping but how I got away with it was I would get the kids extra large because it fit me. Now my next good Amazon find was this tripod. Now it looks like a normal tripod or it looks like a normal like you know stand you kick it up like this. I thought it would be great for vlogging and going on trips as I have some trips coming up. Um, it has this part that I've detached so this is for your phone so if you have your phone you just open this up and you put your phone widen it up as far as your phone is you can take it off and just put your camera on here as well but the reason I really like this tripod because again I have a tripod the tripod that I'm filming on right now the thing that's holding up my current camera is my tripod but I like this one because it actually extends so if you want this to go as tall as you would want and it to stand as high as you would want so right here it's still pretty tall as a tripod that's great because y'all yeah, I got some solo trips coming up my trips are not going with friends and I was like well who's gonna take my pictures for me who's gonna take my pictures for me because typically you know you travel with friends you got people to take your photos for you, you travel with your family you got people to take your photos but I was like got to be smart got to be smart about this i like my current tripod i'll mention this real quickly got it from amazon i think it was like i don't know more more than twenty dollars very sturdy great tripod but not as travel friendly as my current tripod so the next thing on my list has to be my wallpaper i love my wallpaper if you watch my home tour video if you watch my putting up wallpaper video i have a whole video of me putting up said wallpaper I love the wallpaper in my apartment. It is so clean, it is so crisp, it adds an element of sassiness and personality to my apartment that, you know, the bland regular walls don't really bring out. So I love it. I get a lot of questions when I put it up. People were nervous because they were scared that it was gonna like, it's gonna take down your walls. It's, it's not real wallpaper, it's peel and stick. And it's not as hard as contact paper because contact paper sometimes, you know, can be hard and it'd be hard to get up. It has an element Element of if I wanted to rip it down right now it'd be no issues it'd be no problems people are like well what's gonna happen if you stay for two years three years is it gonna be harder I think I could take it down as easy as I did the first day as I would be able to do the very last day if I stayed here don't plan on it but if I stayed here for five years I think I'd have no problem taking the wallpaper down so love my wallpaper I have a different one in my bathroom don't love it as much as my kitchen one but nonetheless it adds a little bit of spunk to the apartment now my next thing is a jewelry related item and it is these necklaces now i can't take full credit for being inspired to buy these necklaces this is a longer one this is one just with my my actual initial my it's a t on here for for talia on this one and then this as well just kind of i layer these typically when i wear these again don't take full credit for them because uh kimberly shirell here on youtube showed Showcased it in one of her Amazon favorites video and immediately I think the same moment she posted her video I ordered it myself because I realized I don't have a lot of jewelry like I don't I don't wear a lot of when I film so when I film all you guys see is I always wear the same earrings every single video these studs and, and then I wear these rings I wear I try to wear things that don't make a lot of noise don't cause a lot of distraction in my videos not a lot of bracelets sometimes you'll see me with my Apple watch on sometimes it can be a distraction as well so I try to minimize my jewelry in video mode but in real life I do tend to wear bracelets a lot more but I don't wear necklaces as much and I was like I need to do better as you know I've been going on dates and I I feel like dating you want to be more fancy I don't know you know I haven't felt fancy here in the house for the last year so wanting my wear my bracelets wanting to wear my rings wanting to have my earrings in and now wanting to add some necklaces so I think Amazon has some good 
choices for necklaces. So like sometimes I get overwhelmed when I go in Target because they got too many necklaces. Like you get too many options. But Amazon got some basic little, you know, dainty little initial jewelry that I think is really good. I've worn these several times. The thing about, you know, cheap jewelry is that, you know, sometimes you, you worry about it turning, rusting, greening super fast. I've worn these for a few times. I try to rotate my jewelry too so that if I'm wearing one of my chokers, I'll wear something else the next time, wear something else the next time. So again, my neck doesn't get too adjusted it to one thing but Amazon don't sleep on them for your little jewelry needs you know your Alex and Ani bracelets your necklaces don't sleep on them now my next favorite is these makeup erasers so I got a little sample one from Sephora the Sephora VIB sale I think they were giving out little samples if you added it to your car if you had enough points I did I didn't realize it was gonna be like a little square but it was a little square and I actually really liked it so I was like oh thank you Sephora Sephora probably thought I was gonna buy it from them now I just ordered it from Amazon so these are the makeup erasers and what they do is you just put water on them what I do is I actually put water and then a little bit of micellar water on there and I just use that to remove my makeup and I actually really like it like I used to always use washcloths I know I don't know whether it's bad or good I use washcloths and I go back over it with a makeup remover wipe and I felt like the washcloths after they go through a few washings they're very rigid and they're not very I don't know they don't feel great on your face but you just do it anyways because you're used to washing your makeup off with washcloths but these are made specifically for makeup removal and I like them they wash well they they feel good on my face again I wet them with water let's the instructions say just wet them with water and remove it from your face but I wet it with water I wear waterproof stuff a lot so I put a little bit of the waterproof Garnier micellar water on it and then I remove my makeup up this way so I only have two of these um, but I love these makeup erasers that I got from Amazon now the next thing my duvet cover I love my duvet I love my insert my insert is a down insert now if you are somebody who's worn by nature skip this part because this is a very much so heavy good for winter and probably terrible for summer I don't mind it because I sleep with a fan on because I'm a crazy person but the insert is one of those that gives your bed that fluffy look like sometimes you get a duvet and you're like why does my bed look so flat like why is it not looking good so you got to get the right insert and then of course the cover I like my cover but it's a basic cover like it's a basic white duvet you can buy that from anywhere but the insert is what gives the duvet the big hotel quality look and I think my bed has that now because I found the best insert I had a previous insert I believe the first time you guys watched my apartment tour wasn't bad very light but the now insert I probably should switch like my previous insert should be my summer insert and then this insert should be my winter because it's very warm but again I love it because it gives my bed that like regal look now my next thing y'all should know y'all should know y'all know I love my little lingerie top now if you watch my clothing haul video you saw this in action and a lot of y'all responded well to this I love this top like I was like this is a perfect like date night if, if you didn't watch the video you don't get what I mean when I say date night yeah yeah I mean yeah you could wear this on a date night but pairing it with a blazer for like a date night with drinks and all that is super cute now I will say I wore a bra up under it um, a bra that covered up decently like I put a little bra let up under here um, I think if you have way bigger boobs you might have a bigger problem and it only worked because I had the blazer on because in the back if I took the are off you would see my bra strap just going through so I bought another one now I haven't worn this one but I, I bought another one because uh, it had a crisscross in the front and I was very interested in it again it can be from date night or after date night whatever you into but I love that little lacy top like it's just it's giving what it needs to give it gave what it needs to give my next item I love this it's a dupe for the Ikea Alex drawer so if you've watched my home tour video you saw I have a lot of white drawers I love a white drawer now I wanted the Ikea Alex drawer and I sat and watched it like a hawk for like eight months I wanted the taller Alex drawer so if you notice in my bedroom tour I have the two regular Alex drawers I wanted the taller version of the Alex drawer but Ikea kept saying no dear 
it's not for you. It's not in the vision for you. They kept being sold out every single time. And so I was like, I just, I needed something to house my stuff in. I wanted my excess stuff to be housed somewhere. So I bought this dupe from Amazon and I actually really like it. Now I will say it was a pain to put this together. It was so painful, so painful. I, I feel like I wouldn't have had as much trouble if it was the Ikea Alex George, but once I got it together, I actually really loved it. So this will definitely have to be one of my newest faves. You know, I could not wait for Ikea any longer to get it together. Every single other drawer in my lineup is from Ikea, but this one, it doesn't look like it's not from Ikea. Now my next favorite has to be my TV. I have two of the same TV. Now, you know, I'll explain why in the moment that I probably should have done something a little different, but I have two of the 50 inch Amazon Insignia TV. So these are Amazon Fire TV. So they're not traditional TVs. I mean, you can connect them to, you know, your cable service if you still, you know, haven't cut the cord yet, but I've cut the cord. So it's nothing. I don't need actual regular TV channels. I'm good with my sling, my Hulu, and uh, my Disney Plus and whatnot. So I bought this TV two years ago, the first time, I think it's been almost two years ago that I bought my first Amazon TV and I really love it, but, and it was super affordable. Like this actually might be a deal for Amazon Prime Day now that I think about it, but I love the TV so much that I bought one for my bedroom. Now my mom was like, why did you buy the exact same TV for your bedroom instead of just moving it and then getting a new TV for your living room, a bigger TV? Cause right now, long story short, when I first got my apartment, I had a bigger TV. So I got a bigger TV stand. If you watch my home apartment tour, my TV stand is huge because I had a bigger TV at first. And then um, that TV went out, I had to get another TV. It was a little bit smaller, so it doesn't fit the length of the stand as much anymore. So uh, my mom was like, didn't you always say you wanted a bigger living room TV? You should have just upgraded, got a 60 inch in there and then moved it. I was like, you were onto something. But nonetheless, I do like my TV. I know a lot of people have hang up with the Insignia brand. I, I saw a little thread going around. Walmart had them on sale for like a hundred something dollars. And they were like, these TV gonna break soon. Them and them Emerson TVs, they gonna break soon. I, knock on wood, fingers crossed, have not had any issues with my TV as it currently stands. I've had issues with my last TV that went out was a Samsung. So, you know, these bigger brands then did me more wrong than Insignia has. So again, I love my TV. Now my next favorite is of course my home security cameras. Um, I have a couple throughout my apartment and I got them at first because when I first moved into my apartment, I was like, oh, I travel a lot. And if, I think as soon as I moved in, I had to travel for work and I was like, my neighbor's gonna get used to that. Maybe, I don't know my neighbors yet. They might be shysty characters. They are lovely people now that I, that I know them, but at the time you never can play it too safe. So let me get some home security cameras and I love them. Now I use them for a different purpose I mean their home security still but it is a puppy cam a lot of people ask me sometimes people who know me and know I have Winnie are like why didn't you get the furbo the furbo the little fur can't they have a camera specifically for pet watching but for me one I already had these a year prior to getting Winnie two they are way cheaper than the furbo is and people are like well you can you can talk back and forth to your dog my camera not back and forth, like when he's gonna talk back. Um, but you can talk through it. I can talk through mine too. She can hear me. I can be, you know, 200 miles away. If, why would I leave my dog if I was 200 miles away? If I were, if I were, I could still, you know, hey, what's going on? Hey girl, just checking on you girl. You know, I could talk through it. They were like, also the fur bow can throw treats. I really don't care about being able to throw treats. If I threw treats at her, she would only get more excited. It would cause the whole catastrophe. So I don't ever talk to her or know do I throw treats at her through my camera because I can't. I just use it for what it's normally for, which is just monitoring, making sure, you know, all is well, all is good. She's not throwing up, having a fit, doing anything crazy. So again, I like my cameras, they're very cheap. If you wanna use them for either home security or as a pet cam, I definitely say go for it because you're not spending like an arm and a leg for a $60 Furbo camera. And then last but not least, this palette. This is the Lorac Pro eyeshadow palette, the Lorac Pro 3. I adore this palette. 
And you're like, well, this ain't a Sephora haul, girl. This is an Amazon haul. Amazon had them on sale when I bought them. I think it was $25. I checked it. This is one of the items I checked the current price on because I want—I didn't want to show it if it was like 50 bucks now. I was like, it's not worth it. They can just go to Sephora, use their points. It's now $33 on the Amazon site. And I love this palette. Like, I, there was a time um, where I killed this palette so much and you guys kept asking me in videos, what do you have on your eyes? And it was always this palette like I dug really deep into this one this one and this one as well I mean again I was always scared of some of the Lorax palettes they have the Lorac one which I was like okay that's probably more for brown skin tones when I saw this I was like this is probably for their fair complexion people but no like I could see this working for so many different looks bridal prom formal events I wear it for YouTube videos like this is a amazing palette like the colors like I love the browns this this speaks my story. These colors are my story. If you watch my channel, you know the story that I give and these are my story. So again, these have been my Amazon favorite items. Does it currently stand? Which of these were your favorite? What are some of your Amazon favorites that I might need to check out? Are you guys doing the prom day sale y'all and participate i love my echo dot but i feel like everybody has an echo dot i talked about it in my last video i feel like this either you have a google home or you have an echo dot you got some kind of smart thing in your house at this point so no need to bring that up but there are so many great things on amazon you share below what you've been loving but while you're sharing below make sure you're giving a, a big thumbs up to this video if you enjoyed it give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't don't be a hater don't be a hater. that's all i can say don't be no hater make sure that you're subscribed to my channel too so you miss any of the good content that i feel i share your way and make sure that you're following me on instagram at leelavon89 so you can keep up with my shenanigans in real time and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye